My name is Elisa. I'm going to teach you how to make an origami flapping bird. For this tutorial, you need a piece of color printer paper or if you have white printer paper. So, once you have your printer paper, you're ready to move on. We need to convert the printer paper into a square. Into a square. So, we take this corner and we fold it across. Make sure it's lining up edge to edge. Now, then you can cut up this excess paper. Once you have this piece of paper, you can then unfold it and then you should have a line going this way in the paper. So then you want to take the upper, then you want to take this side and fold it across to the other side. Make sure all the lines, uh, all the creases are lined up and make the crease and now uh, do something like this, then unfold it. Then you want to take the top edge, fold it down to the bottom edge. Make a good crease and you want to just go like this. Then you want to open it back up and you want to do the same thing to your own. So if you want to just rotate it around, then you can do the top end, pull it down to the bottom end. Make a good crease and just do something like this. Open it up, then you can fold on one of the yang diagonals. It doesn't matter. So just fold in one of them. Then we're going to kind of lift up this corner and tuck it right in. Make a good crease and just run your finger down over here. And you want to fold back and run your finger. And do the same thing the other direction. So just tuck this in. Uh, run your fingernail against it and close and run your fingernail against it. Then you should have a diamond shape that looks something like this. And now, now you want, you should, if you were making really good creases, when you were tucking in the corners, you should see a faint line that running down the diamond. If you don't recognize that line, you can take the entire diamond, fold it in half, and make a crease. And, and then you should see a pink line. Now you'll see, now you want to fold this, the outside edge of this diamond and fold it onto that, onto that line. Make a little crease and then you, and run your fingernail, you should have something that looks like this. Then you want to do that for the remaining three flaps. And don't go too quick. And don't go too slow. And when you do behind, you want to make sure these edges are lining up. Same thing. Now you should have something that looks like this. And remember, I said I'm going to teach you how to make the origami flapping bird. Now, we're going to do something is called a pedal fold, but this is the hardest fold of making the origami, the, or, the origami flapping bird. So the way to make it easier is you can take this tip of this clay and just fold it in and make a crease. And then you can flip the model over and do the same thing on these two edges. Now, these flaps are folded this way. So if we take each of these flaps and we fold it backwards on the crease we just made, it will make it easier for the pedal fall. Make it the crease, open it, do the same thing with the remaining three flaps. Then you can just move it out like a diamond and do the same thing. And you should have a diamond shape that looks something like this. Now we will kind of lift up this corner here and you want to just tug on it. As you see, the, those mines, the, these, well, these edges might won't want to go in the middle. All you have to do is just pop it out with the pit. Then you can just pull up and these edges will start to go into the middle. Take both of your hands and push down on it gently. And then, if it's not really lined up on the top, all you can do is something like that. 
then you should have something that looks like this. And you should have this pedal structure. You should have this pedal structure here. Something like this. Then you want to flip the model over and do the same thing. And there's this edge up. And you might you, you see that they might hold a lot of bones in it. All you have to do is just pop it outwards and then you can pull on it and put down on it gently. And also you can walk it and walk your fingernail and whatever. Now you should have something that looks like this. Now, now to open, then you should open the side here and fold the point up. And then you should close then you close on it and then you can pull this flap up right about there and now make a good crease along here and do the same thing the other side so just lift it up close on it and just pull it out make a good crease and just make a good crease and just pull it out right about there now you should have something that looks like this and you might think this is like a crown but it's not. We're not making a crown. Now we have to make the head. So you want to take one of these and you want to fold it down. And then you want to just pinch it to make a crease. And then the tail is fine just like that. Then you, the, way, the tip of the wings are going to be more towards the head. So you want to fold it right like, some, like that. Make a good crease and then you can run your fingernail if you want. Flip the model over then you can kind of uh, align this wing up with the other wing. So just line it up and just run your fingernail. And then you can just kind of lift up these wings a bit. And to make it flat stand, all you have to do is just spread um, hours of these, spread outwards on these, spread outwards on, on these. And bend outwards. Then you want to make a good crease and you want to open them up. Same thing with the tail. So just bend these outwards. Fold them in half. Then you want to just make a good crease. And then and it should be able to stand. And make sure the wings are still perfect. It's still perfect. If the wings are kind of getting something like this, all you have to do is just line it up with the other wing and you should be able to then you should have something that looks like this. And this is how the standing part. If these are not really on the ground, all you can do is something like this. Now if you then now to it seems like it's going to rip, all you can do is just pull outwards on these. And now to make it flap, all you have to do is hold by your neck and pull out the tail. And there you go. You have your origami flapping bird. See you next time on my next video. Awesome.